partner went to her house and I was coming by myself. And it's only about two hours before I reached to Vernon Street, you know, on my left hand side coming home. When I see this guy on a bicycle come straight to my face, he and another young man, um, he was on, on his on foot, one on bicycle and one on foot. So I, um, the one on the bicycle says, give me that. So I say, give you what? He says, that. So I said, I don't know what you're talking about. He said, give me that. And he grabbed my hands and he popped my bracelet off my hands. So I, um, the, the other one, when he grabbed my hand and take off the bracelet from this one, the younger guy, he pulled my, my, my earring off my ears on my right hand side. So when he pulled the right side, I pulled the, the, the left hand, left one off my ears and keep it in my hand. So he says, give me the other one. I said, no, I'm not giving it to you. So he said, well, give me the bag. So he started to rustle me for my bag. And I said, I'm not giving you my bag either, you know. But I get to know, uh, know now that they don't have gun, they don't have nothing to hurt me. So I start to fight back, you know. And two men were across the street, uh, one on cell phone, the other one was talking with him. But they, I thought that they were going to come over and help me. Nobody helped me. I was screaming on the top of my voice and I was fighting for my life. And not even one of them come and help me. You know, so I said, okay. So when I finished from there, I tried to wrap myself from them. And after that, I went past to where the, the two men were so that I can scare them off. When I went over there, the, the one on the bicycle ride off and they gone. So the one on foot, I don't know if he went along with him on the bicycle or what, because I was so frightened that I went over there and I was shaking you know, and I was really frightened. I was shaken up, but I didn't uh, expect that, you know. So I don't know where they returned to, but I know it was a dark, slim body guy, and the one on the bicycle, it dark, and the other one was a younger person, about 16 to 17 years old. He most shabby, you know, he was the one that taking out my earrings or my ears, you know. When you were wrestling with these guys, did it ever occur to you that they might hurt you? Yeah, afterwards. But I, w I wasn't thinking. You know, because I said if they would have taken out a gun or a knife to scare, uh, you know, scare me or uh, threaten me, I would have given them what I have because my life is more important. You know, but they didn't um, take out anything. So I wasn't thinking, you know. So no. because <laughs> it, I was shocked. You know, I, I, I wasn't looking out for that.